Tessa. Yo quiero escribir sobre la causa de Morales. ¿Y qué sabes de escribir novelas vos? En realidad nunca más hablamos de eso. ¿Por qué nunca más hablamos de eso? The treatment of the crime scene was something that I have never done before, and I have shot my, my share of, of crime scenes in my TV work. <laughs> um, I really wanted to register how it affected the, the character who's seeing it for the first time. I, I always think that in, in, in many movies we're used to seeing characters seeing these uh, very mistreated and humiliated bodies and not registering it in some way. And this had to make an impression that would last a lifetime. So um, um, even though the scene was written with a lot of dialogue between the cop, the cop and the forensic uh, doctor and all that, I just decided to erase all that and sort of see the whole thing from the point of view of the court officer who's seeing this. Uh, for the same time, it's almost it's almost like a love scene. It's almost like a, a person falling in love with that with that woman and seeing beyond the corpse. Um, it it was a, the whole movie hinged on that scene. So uh, it, it 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 took a lot of work. It took a, it took some thinking about it, how to approach it in a different way. Estoy meando, eh? Aguanta. En algún momento tiene que salir la vida. Mucho Napoleón solo, Perry Mason, eso tenés vos. Ese es tu problema. Che, no te jodas, me estoy mirando en serio. Uh, what you do work with a lot of sort of unreliable variables in the movie with emotion and memory, which we know are, are you know, sort of germane to each person and Eyewitness testimony is the most unreliable of all. Yes. So how do you keep a narrative structure throughout the film with so many questions being raised constantly? The the film is structured as the the um, uh, as an as an old man who's re who's telling us a story that he remembers. We never know for sure if what he remembers is the truth or something that he uh, enriched. Uh, during during all those years, uh, actually, some other some other uh, characters call him on that. You know, they tell him when they read the story, this is not the way I remember it. Uh, so uh, it it doesn't really matter exactly what happened, because what happens is the way he remembers it and the way it affected him. That was also a way of taking the spot off the plot of the movie and more on the characters and how it, how it made an impact on them, rather than exactly what happened. Someone else had the keys to his house? No vio algún rostro extraño in the last few days. The vecina nos dijo que usted venía todos los mediodías. Un poco tras mano, ¿no? ¿Algún motivo en especial? Le gusta el atrevimiento. Perdón, no, no le entendí. Teníamos una costumbre, una rutina. Nos gustaba mirar el show de los tres chiflados juntos. Ella se reía. Pa, le causaba gracia. Bueno, me, me va a tener que acompañar a la morgue. Trataremos de hacerlo de, de la forma más suave posible, pero yo sé que es un trámite. Un trámite molesto. It was shot by Felix Monti, who is a, is a very gifted and is a, is a um, royalty in Argentina. He has shot eight Oscar-winning movies between Brazil and Argentina. Uh, he's has got Oscar-nominated movies, I'm sorry. Um, he, uh, he's very gifted. We were shooting also in a new media, like the digital media, that he had never, we both had never worked on before. Uh, and particularly that scene that starts two miles away from the field in an aerial shot and it goes in an uh, extended take without cuts into the bleachers inside the stadium, jumping from a, from a five-meter wall and then into the field. Um, 
it, it, it took some designing and some, some ingenuity because we didn't have that much money to make it. You know, so, so uh, as a producer once told me I can do things well, cheap and fast, pick any two. So well and cheap is slow. <laughs> uh, it took us six months, it took us nine months almost to, in post-production to work on that scene. Um, but uh, we, close, we worked very closely with the cinematographer and, and the VFX supervisor, of course. Thank you.